All right. Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. I'm happy to be here. I don't know about you. What? I am. It's no joke. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy about the day. I'm happy about right freaking now. Because you know what? And I think the more and more and the older I get and the more time that goes by on the planet, I think the secret, well, let's put it this way. Let me, let me ask you, what can you do about two seconds ago? What can you actually do about it? There's only one thing. Hopefully learn from it, right? So it's gone. There, there's nothing you can do about it is, is my point that I'm trying to elude to here. Okay, there's nothing you can do about the past. What can you do about the future? I'm talking about the future, not, not leading up to the future, not now, the future. What can you do about it? Exactly, nothing. You can't, it's not here yet. So what can you do about right now? Right this very instant in the now. You hear people talk about, live in the moment, live in the now, live in the present. Today is a gift. That's why they call it a present. The present. All these cliches, all this craziness, it's true. That's the funny thing about cliches, is they're true. They bug me sometimes, but when you think about it, most of them are really deep and true. Like everything happens for a reason. It's easy to say that. Me and a buddy were talking about this. It's easy to go along and say these cliches and, oh yeah, don't worry buddy, everything happens for a reason. You'll be fine or this and that. Oh yes, okay, that's true. But to live in those, in those cliches, to live in them, to walk the walk is a much different thing than to just blabber on. Right, friends? Do you know what I'm talking about? It is. Uh, uh, so to live in that moment, to live in the moment, I think truly, truly is the gift, it, it is, is, is mastery in a sense, in a sense. So that's my ramble to start this video off. But yeah, because you know the old saying, you got one foot in yesterday and one foot in the future and you're pooing all over today, right? There's so much truth to that. Because right now in my life, at this instant, right now, there's nothing wrong. Nothing! I can find things and choose to find things, but how silly is that? My life is fine right now. Right now, it's good. What about a second ago? It was good too. What about 10 minutes from now? I actually don't know. I don't know. I don't. So, that was a hell of a lot of ramble, let's be honest. It was. I met a man at Buckenstock, 2018, Mishawaka, Indiana. His name was Kevin Wenzel. I think it was Wenzel. He's the garbologist on this YouTube channel. He calls himself the garbologist and pretty much only because landfill rat has been taken <laughs> kevin i got such a, a a freaking charge out of your energy man you're like this little kid i see your face and i and i see this excited little kid who's a thinker a smart man um a kind man you, you you're conscientious um you're just a good guy. I see it in you. And I've never met you before just at, at Buckenstock, but I liked you. And you came up to me and you said, Bucken, uh, you watched intently on the hand filing uh, thing. Hopefully you picked up a couple tricks you can incorporate into your own soup. You know, I call it the soup where we, we learn from people and we have this big cauldron. <laughs> I'll get you, my pussy. <laughs> and we make our own stew. I get something from you. I'll take that. Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that right alone. Okay. So Kevin, hopefully you grab something from that filing thing. But what Kevin did, friends, I'm in a good mood. 
just so if you're wondering. I think it's because I'm living right now. I'm living in the moment. I think it truly, there's something to that, friends. I do. I'm going to try more and more in my life to live right now in the moment right now what's the matter i'm saying it again i'm repeating myself i'm repeating myself again what's wrong right now i can't nothing therefore i have happiness and peace yes i do okay now let's put mr watt over there kevin the garbologist wenzel i hope i'm pronouncing that right Drop me off a box. He comes up to me at Buck, uh, Buck and Stock and says, Buck and I got this, this ax head. He showed it to me. It was a, it was a keen cutter double bit. He brought it with him. Uh, hey Dana, how are you doing? I hope you're getting some use out of that freaking uh, little HB ax. We handed off to you there at the end of the Buck and Stock when we're all saying goodbye. This is what we're doing. We're opening up this box. Kevin thought I might need a screwdriver. Ah, he might be right, but he might not be. I just don't want to wreck nothing. You know, I, I don't want to. Who knows with Kevin? He's the garbologist. He might have something up his sleeve in here. So let's have a look. I know there's, I know there's one thing in here that, that I'm excited about doing for Kevin. And it's his, uh, oh, okay. I see something else in here. Kevin, can you guys see it? Maybe I'll move this back a bit so you guys can see. Here we are. So, let's have a little pixie poo here. Okay, now he's got a box. He's, okay, this is funny. Look at what, oh, oh. Oh, look, oh, look at this. Oh, cool, Kevin, this is cool. Kev, see, I knew you were you were this kind of a guy. This is really cool, friends. Look at this. You guys can see. I know you can. Let's let's make it so you can see a little bit more skis. See it there? I can bend down. I don't mind. See? There we go. Good. Okay, let's let's do this. I see. Oh yeah, this is nice, Kev. Oh look at this. Let's make sure there's nothing else in there. There's some more axe wrapping material for bucking. All right. I hit the McCullough sign. That's not very nice. Okay. So he's told me that I might need a screwdriver and now I see why. And you're probably right, Mr. Kevin. So I feel like kind of maybe not using a screwdriver. This is a nice. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, there we are. We're in. Kevin, you've done a nice job, bud. Oh, what the? What? Kevin? Franz? Look at this thing! What did you... This is the craziest little tool! Oh my dear lord, Kevin, that is... that's wicked! Kev, what... Now... Kev... Made... In... Okay, that was funny as heck. Uh, the phone rang. Kev, can you believe this? Get this, garbologist. My boy, and we have a thing over here on Vancouver Island. It's called Sunfest. And it's a huge party in Cowichan, just where we came from, where I was camping. They built a spot for this event. They built a spot, just like we're going to build a spot for Buckenstock. Same deal. At the Indiana man's house. Oh yeah. Now, you didn't know about that, eh, Decal? Yeah, I, I was gonna talk to you about that, but I thought I may as well just talk to you on, on, on YouTube about it. Yeah, Buck and Stock. 
Anyways, friends, so, so this big, huge, it's a country music festival. It's massive. It's big names come. Um, so my boy goes down there last night, okay? Yesterday. He just phoned me. Guess what for? Yeah, to be picked up. You know what I told him? I told him no. Because he's an 18-year-old boy. He's with his partner. I said, son, now's the opportunity to add to this adventure that you went on last night. You went on there, you went down there without a vehicle. You went down there with your buddies to just try and whatever. See, they didn't have tickets or nothing. So it was an adventure. Trust me on that one. It was an adventure. I said, intensify the adventure. Because friends, what happens, uh, uh, especially now, um, it, 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 it's crazy. The traffic, there's tr it's, it's not good. It's not good, especially for one of my old trucks. It'll probably heat up in traffic. So anyways, I said, you need to hitchhike back to the highway. Hitchhike. Add to the adventure, son. He goes, oh, maybe, maybe I will. I said, yeah, buddy, because I'm not coming down to couch in today. I'm not doing it. So he's going to hitchhike. Yeah, him and his partner, two strapping boys, they'll be able to handle themselves. So they're going to get up to the highway and then I'll, I'll pick them up from there. Or they may even get a ride right home down here in Cedar somewhere. Back to the story. Kevin, buddy, I, I'm astounded, quite frankly. But what I'm going to do, Kev, oh boy, take a little piece. Don't throw all your sandpaper away, friends. I want to see something. Just a little bit. That should be enough. I don't want to change the look of this thing too much. There it is. Okay. Now, yeah, it's made in the USA. This thing's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And I'm going to tell you something, Kevin. Garbolo garbologist. Wow. What a neat tool. It almost looks like it slides down that shank, Kev. What a cool thing. You... What, what did you want me to do with this thing? Fixer? No, you didn't give me this thing, did you? Friends, it's sharp. It is. I'm not kidding. Kevin. Okay, what else? This is exciting. Hey, what's this? What the? Oh, that's probably just packing, eh, Kevin? <laughs> I love you, buddy. You're awesome. <laughs> I know what that is. I'm excited about this. But you are one funny son of a gun, bud. Look at that, friends. I, I just... Kevin, you're a man after my own heart. You, you just are. You're from the old school, too. You're, you're, you, you're like me. You probably spent some time in the, in the 1800s on our last run here, didn't you? I know I did. I feel like I did. Wow. That is just so cool. And my favorite color, green. Man, oh man. Look at that, friends. Look at that. Oh, friends, I forgot to tell you. I think what I'm going to do, I got some stuff coming from Buckingstock that I couldn't take on the plane, right? And I'm going to have it sent back. And it's time I change the look of the bunker a little bit. I'm, I'm going to actually take down the big banner at the back. I've got so many cool axes, friends, and gifts from people like freaking this. You know what I mean? I want to honor the people that, that do that. And what a better place to do it than behind me in the video so you guys can see your stuff. I think it's a great idea. You know, so... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to take that banner down for a bit. Maybe put it somewhere else. Maybe outside. I'm not sure. But I'm going to take it down. Soon. Now, this is the thing I'm excited about. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. Oh, yeah. You go over there. Now, I like this box, Kev. Look, look at what he did, friends. Look at this. Bucking Axe Company, half, half does acts of kindness. Oh, look at what he did, friends. You might not see it. Bucking Axe Company, half does acts of kindness. There it is again on the other side. Kevin. I knew you were trouble. I knew you were. 
This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. What a community we have here. What, what, a, what an incredible community. Why did I do that? I was trying to, you know, in the kindling pile, but I threw it too hard. Now, uh, I don't care who you are, where you're from, I'm keeping this box. I'm freaking keeping it. I might even stick some, uh, oh, I see what I did. I can't believe I just did that, Kevin. You see what I did, don't you? Not a smart human being me sometimes. I opened it up upside down. So now I gotta put another thing on the bottom, Kevin. You see what I did, eh? He even glued it. He glued and screwed it. But the good thing is, is Kev, I'm just gonna get another piece. I might even use this, the bottom. You're, you're laughing at me, aren't you right now, Kev? Yeah, I opened it up upside down. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I got to the I got to the presents in, in, in different order, right, Cap? Wow. Holy cow, Cap. Did that go in a knot, that one? I think it did. Okay. I'm excited about this, Cap. Oh. Whoa, what's that? Kev, you can't do that. Friends. <laughs> Look what he does. Okay, this is a nice head. Let's get rid of this. I'll use that for something else. Look what he does, friends. It's a stiletto. It's a freaking stiletto and it's in wicked, wicked shape. Deadly shape. He drops a freaking orange one. We call them orange ones. He drops a 50 spot inside the A. Kevin. Dude, that goes a freaking long way here. It does. Thank you so much, buddy. Mmm, and he smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> Kevin, you're awesome. Thanks, pal. Gosh, you know, what a freaking trip. So, oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be wicked. Check this out. Check it out. Now, we're gonna pop this out. I might even use a special, special ax handle for this particular number. I've got a, an ax head here. I'm building for a guy, his name is actually Tyler Woodcock. That's his name. I'm gonna build a Puget Sound for him. He's real excited as well as I am for this particular project. Here it is here, it's a pitted up old, a true temper is what it is, friends. It's a true temper, it's a freaking, uh, you, you, people call them Pugets, all right? That's what they are. And it's a good looking Puget, it's sharp as hell. It's got a real good looking eye on it. The pitting's all there and even the breaking brand is still there if you look real close, friends. It sure is. Indeed it is. All right, all right, all right. Now! This may not work. Very interesting. Check this out. Stiletto. One head. Pull out. Turn it around. Two head. Same deal. We will make this amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. I have axe heads on the way. Oh, this is, this is. This is very interesting. I know that this goes like this. This is, yes, of course it does. Yes, it does, because the stiletto is on the way. This is going to be good, Kevin. Mr. Kevin Garbologist. Kev, I'm excited for this, buddy. Thank you for the little, the 50 spot in there, the extra little funds, that's awesome. You didn't have to do that. I'm glad you did, to be quite honest with you. Okay, what else? That was it. Tyler Woodcock, your axe is gonna be nuts. Right nuts. Oh. 
Friends, look, look at this Puget. It, it goes on this handle like nobody's business. Look at it. It's not on there yet. Watch. You know how I do this? Listen. There it goes. So it fights on a little bit and the freaking curve stays there. You can see right through it. It's, it this is going to be a nice axe. It's, I've already done some work on the head. You can see we've got curl tatter all the way pretty much, buddy. You see it there? It's going to be deadly. That's all I know. This is going to be a sweet axe. Anyway, friends, off. Uh, it's Saturday. I sent out a video of me answering some comments on the last video. Me cutting trees and running from hornets, me and Hogan. And, oh dear, and victorious. Okay? So, I hope you're enjoying things. I'm sure enjoy making them for you. See you on the next video. And be freaking kind to one another over and out.